Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Last time, we defeated Quadratus, the second Colossus. And this time, we'll be going to a Colossus that is... It's... Yeah. Many fans of this game, they, it's like their favorite. It's many fans' favorite Colossus. We'll, I will also introduce you to a new mechanic of the game, as well as one... That was kind of already introduced to us, but now we're going to see an extension of it. Anyway, we're going to take the same path that we just took for Quadratus. We're going to go behind the Shrine of Resurrection and through the Stone Bridge. Toward that desert area, but we're not going to go through there, through that quite yet. We're just going to turn left there. And... I will try to paint the camera right now, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look where we had the fight with Quadratus down there, you can see there's something. You can see Quadratus corpse. We're actually going to go down there to look at look at it a bit closer. Colossi that you have defeated will stay where you are defeated in a form of a corpse. And that those are the corpses that you've been seeing at the end of each episode. Now we're going to check on it, just to point out a few things that... But there's one thing that you can do with them. And then... There's some thought that I need to... To put out about the corpses of the Colossi. So we go down there to the beach. By the way, if you think... Oh, I can... Can I just... Can't I just jump down from the bridge? Because there's water, and just jump in the water? No, because there's a kill box. It kills you before you reach the water. But anyway... Here is... There's actually something else that we can do in this area before looking about the corpse. This is PS4 only. If you go back here, where Quadratus spawned from... Which is, by the way, it's a pretty small cave for Quadratus. I don't know how it, f it fits in there, in here, but heh. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, there is a coin. As you, as I told you last time, I'm not going to get all of these coins, but I'm going to get the ones that I can remember if we pass nearby the area with the coin. Uh, where's Agro? What, you, what are you doing? A trick, if you want to find the Agro, is to hold X, or whatever button you have assigned your Agro... I guess your Agro button... In the original binding is X, but I think in the if you're using the remake binding, it should be triangle. If you hold the button, on the button, the camera will pan toward the location of aggro. So anyway, this is the corpse of Quadratus, and if you press circle nearby, you can pray and begin reminiscence mode. I'm gonna show you what that is really quickly. We just go through a loading screen. And we're gonna skip this with start and skip cinematic. And we're just basically in the fight again. And that's all it does. You just pre fight the, the fight with this, with a filter that looks like an old movie basically. And then you're popped back here. If you die, it doesn't matter. You just get a message that says, okay, do you wanna retry or do you wanna go back to yeah. the game? <clears throat> and that's all that does. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you're going away, I want you to look at Ed the Scorps. Carefully. Look very carefully and look and look at what you see around here. I'm gonna take it just a quick trip around it. I probably shouldn't work around shouldn't shouldn't just walk like this around the corpse, but eh. Just look at it and there you go, you looked at it now. What do you think? This corpse has grass growing on it. Little trees and plants. But it feels like we just defeated this Colossus. So that raises a lot of questions. Mainly, if we feel like we defeated this Colossus like 
10 minutes ago and we just go teleported back to the Shrine of Resurrection. Why are plants already growing on top of it? Now one answer might be that we don't know how much time it takes for Wonder to go back like from when the tendrils hit him and he blacks out to when he wakes up to the Shrine of Resurrection. For us it's almost instantaneous but maybe maybe a lot of days go by and we don't know. There might be another answer that maybe, I don't know, Colossi's corpses are like, they have some like um, energy into it that makes plants grow, I don't know. But it seems very weird, because for you, again, it's instantaneous, the transportation between the, where you fought the Colossus and the, Shrine of and the Shrine of Resurrection is almost instantaneous. And yet, when you come back to the Colossi, corpses, it feels like they've been there for days, if not weeks. Well, if not months, actually. It seems like seems like they've been there for a very long time. I don't think we ever got an official answer as of why that happens. But yeah, that's the thing the fans of this game like to theorize about. Along with many other things, of course. This game had a lot of theories and myths about him, about it, but I think we're going to talk about that another time as of now. I'm just going to grab a few fruits here to enhance my vitality a bit, my elf. Alright, let's get this one. Oh, this is another lizard, but this one does not have, does not have a shining tail, so we don't care about that. We only care about shining ones. <laughs> No shining lizards, I guess we can call them like that, for a lack of a better term. You can't kill them, you can't eat their tails. But they don't do anything, they restore a bit of your HP and that's yeah. about it. They're kinda useless. At least another free tree around here, I'm just gonna take them, just cause. And yes, you can jump from top of aggro if you hit jump. Which actually can help. To reach some high places. You're not ever required to do that. But. I don't think even for the coins. You're required to get to do any. Jump from Agoras back. But. In the early days of PS2. PS3 maybe. Maybe in PS3. There was this technique called aggro jump. Well, aggro jumping can be used on certain colossi. To do things that are. Kind of not intended. But some might actually have been. I don't know. You always have dubs when you do weird things with the mechanics of the game. You never know if those things were intended or not. But yeah, you, c you can use aggro jumping to jump very quite high. Higher than usual. I don't think any coins require that. You can, again, use it on, on some colossi. To climb them in weird ways. And in the early PS2 days, this was a technique called aggro jumping, in which you use aggro to jump on ledges that we're not supposed to reach. And you would get to new places, I guess. This is one of the monuments that we'll find around the world that Dormin told us if you play these monuments, you can save your game and you restore your health. Also, if you open up the map with the touchpad in this case, I think it was stored in the original, uh, you can see there, kinda, below my arrow, there is a monument sign. Every time we pray at a monument, it just shows up on the map. You can't fast travel or anything, but they're just there to tell you, hey, you you did this monument, you found it. And another function that these monuments have, these little shrines, uh, is that they usually host a lizard. By the type that we're looking for. So where the hell is this lizard? I will try to find the lizard around these monuments. <laughs> But if I don't find it quickly, I'll probably just cut the video because sometimes you can just find it right off the bat. Sometimes the stakes forever. Anyway, one thing you can do about on these monuments is you can climb up to the top. Does it do anything? No, again, it doesn't. But it's something you can do. Also, it allows you to find the lizard. I see you. I see you. Got it. That was easy. But yeah, you can get up top and get a nice view. There's one more thing about 
the shrines that I have to tell you about. Let me just take in all this nice scenery. Uh, I was trying to do a slow pan. There we go. Slow pan of the scenery right here. And jump. Wait. No. No. Okay. Never mind. I would. I was trying to look cool and do something. Where's Agro? There you are. Uh, missed. Uh. If you look at the shrine, you can really see it from this one in particular. If you look at the shrine and the shrine of resurrection in the distance, you can see they kind of look like. The shrine even has that little like broken bridge to the left of it, which symbolizes the bridge that led us to the shrine of resurrection. So yeah, the little shrines here are just like a miniature Shrine of Resurrection. And this theme is actually repeated throughout the game. We'll be seeing big things in one place, and then little things in another place. So far, this, I think this is the only example I can do to you, but we'll find more as we progress. Now we're going to backtrack a bit, because the way to the third Colossus is actually over here. There are two ways you can get to this one, but this is the most direct one. I believe if you go around these mountains, there's another path, but this is usually the one that most players take. And I think this is the, also the intended one. And we're getting through here. There are lots of lizards, but none of those are actually interesting. Anyway... I'll leave aggro here. Uh, by the way, you can press circle on aggro. You'll do this. Fine, aggro. Stay here. I'll go defeat a Colossus. Anyway, the Colossus is up there. We need to get up on this thing. Which, by the way, I've always asked myself, aggro? You can't come. The Colossus is up there. What? What are you doing? She's like, yeah, go, dude. Go. Alright, I'll go then. I'll talk about this thing while I'm swimming. Oh yeah, this is the first... Okay, what the hell? Okay. This is the first time we're finding water. Uh, you can swim in water, no big deal. You can also hold grip. And you'll swim under the surface. You swim faster, you do consume stamina, but it's not like you can run out of... Uh, air or anything, it'll lose health. No, when you, when you run out of stamina, you just force through the surface. But you do swim faster underwater. Anyway, this thing. Many people have been asking. Me, and me too. Like, what the hell is this thing? Because it looks very weird. For It doesn't look like a natural stone formation, does it? Many people have been theorizing about this being like a spaceship that... Like fall, fall from the sky or something from, because it looks like a new FO and then it just eventually grew rocks and stuff <laughs> like grew rocks not like rocks can grow but you know what I mean like it, it got stuck here for a very long time and eventually like vegetation grow, grew all around it but yeah here one of the hardest jumps in the game there you are and that's actually the first part of it you have to kind of jump diagonally, and now here we need to do a wall jump, like so. A suggestion, because this jump is very hard. Some people will have trouble with it. A suggestion I can give you is never release grip. Always have grip held down while you do this jump, and you'll be just fine. And now there are three ways you can actually get on top here, where the Colossus is. One way is go over here, and there is a little wall you can climb. Yet another way you can go up there is by climbing th this things. Which for some reason they they're climbable. Don't know why. But it's, again, something you can do. Uh there is also a coin nearby, but I'm not gonna get it because it's down there on that I think it's it that platform or another one. You have to drop down from here. I believe it's that one that we see right now. That one in the middle of the water on the bottom left. But there's a coin up there. And you can only get it by dropping down from here. And yeah, it's not gonna do that. Anyway, step on 
The Colossus Arena. Meet Gaius, the knight, I guess, because he has that kind of big sword. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to shoot a bunch of arrows to k on at Gaius' belly. He happens to have a weak point right there. As you can see, I'm doing damage. You can't do damage to a weak point or sigil with your bow and arrow. You're just not going to do a lot of damage. And eventually, after a certain amount of arrows, you just stop doing damage. But hey, it's a bit of extra damage that we can do. So the problem with Guy is, is that your support you cannot climb him through his legs. And you cannot climb through his arms either. Especially from his left one where he where, actually his right one where he has the sword. Because he has a big bracer. But if we bait out an attack and he have him swing onto this uh Iron ring, actually, iron circle, or metal circle, whatever, it's on the ground. That thing in the center of the arena. He will try to smash it, but... Because he hit the metal thing, the force of the impact will shatter the bracer and open the way forward. And fittingly enough, the game now plays the opened way. That's the name of the song it's playing right now. And now, after another swing, we can climb up a sword and begin our climb. So Gaius has three weak points in hard mode two and normal. We're gonna get the hard one is especially hard. The hard weak point here is especially hard. First thing we're gonna do though, we're gonna get the one on, on his belly that was shooting before. If he cooperates a bit, he needs to raise his arm a bit so I can jump all the way here. Nice. Okay, moving really slowly here. Now for this sigil, I suggest you do what I did. Just hold, grip, and climb up from the base. Especially if you're playing on the original. Because in the original there was a little glitch with this one. Sigil. Basically... Let me see, let's see if he stops so I can actually show it. It does happen here, but not that badly. If you jump and grab, that happened. But while in this one you can still move, in the original, if you grab the top like that, you were stuck, unable to move, or you, only, you could only release and drop down and try again. Eventually you would be able to not grab the top and just grab anything anywhere else, but easiest way to do this, especially in the original, just stay on the base, old grip, and then make your way like this, make your way up like that, a lot easier. Now from here we have two options. Option number one, this. You can kind of see the sigil on his left arm. You can jump to this left arm. Very risky, but speeds things up a lot. Option number two, we go back to the arm with the sword, climb our way to the top, and then make our way down to the sigil. That's what we're going to do. We're going to play it safe here. So jump, grab this. And we're going to make our way around again. There we go. I'm going to release a bit. Uh, just release and recover a bit. There we go. And we're going to make our way up to the shoulder and then up his back. And right now it's not really doing a lot to shake us off. It's just fine. Okay, let's recover here. Let's go through. Let's go to the hard only weak point. Okay, now this is be a bit tricky, so let me concentrate. I need to shut up and concentrate on this one. It's hard. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to climb up in this game, but when you have to climb down, that's where the tricky part starts. Uh oh, this is bad. I'm holding on. That's fine. Okay. Alright, that's nice. Now, for this one, I suggest you get little stabs. Don't charge too much, just little stabs, little by little. Because he shakes a lot on this sigil. Like, 
We're talking a lot. We're probably not gonna even do it in one cycle. And the fast stab helps a lot, because you charge faster, that means you get greater stabs out. Is this it? I think it's it. That's it, okay. We got one cycle. If you're not sure, do two cycles. Just go back to... To his neck right here, to the base of his neck, and recover all your stamina try again. Okay, holding on, just the case, okay. When you're on his neck right here, you're pretty much safe unless he does that, but you, you should be able to just re-grab. And he doesn't like us to be up here. Eh, uh, he doesn't. The last sigil is, of course, on top of its head. His head, actually. I don't know if we should call it his, because we don't know the gender of the Colossi. I mean, it's called Gaius, so we assume he is a male, but actually we're not sure. And, and it's not even called Gaius, by the way. Gaius is only the unofficial name the fans gave to him. All the names you have been seeing so far are not official names, they are like the ones that the fans of the game gave, gave to the Colossi. They have names in the, in, in, in the f internal files, but they're like generic ones. For example, I think he is actually called Knight. Like Night Colossus, or and I, I believe like Argus, not not Argus, sorry, Val, Val, Valus, the very first one is called Minotaur one. There's like two or three uh, that look like him a bit. I'm about to run out of grip here. There we go. So yeah, they have very generic names because officially they don't have names. They're just Colossus one, two, three, four, up to all the way through sixteen. But, the community agreed on certain names, so we're just gonna call them by those names. Alright guys, do your shaky. Do your shaky, we hold on. We hold on, we're not gonna release our grip here. And I believe one more full step should do it. If I may get one off. Oop. No, just one more step. One more step. One more step, Wonder. Uh oh, he's not gonna let me. He's not gonna let me. Now we gotta play safe. Go back. Oh, I can feel I'm about to run out. Oof. It's there. Okay, recover, recover. And this should be over in a second. 